is something that is a bind that ties all relationships together, and that is that each one of you must be willing to be vulnerable enough to both give and receive love. And in that sense, you are both and you are all powerful creators of love. For every day, you have a choice that you could offer your love and your heart to your beloved and to your friends and family, or you could withhold that love and care. Throughout time, countless people from all cultures, religions, and societies have gathered among friends and family to celebrate their love for one another and their commitment to each other. And each culture has all kinds of symbols and rituals that celebrate marriage, whether it's the Chinese tea ceremony or the Jewish tradition of breaking a glass or all sorts of other traditions that symbolize the meaning of a marriage. Well, today we remember that a wedding itself is a symbol. The ceremony is not magic. It doesn't create a relationship that doesn't already exist. What we're acknowledging today is really not the beginning of a marriage, but a marriage in progress. This ceremony is a symbol of how far both of you have come together and of all the promises that you will continue to make with each other throughout your lives. Sarah and Andrew, the vows you're about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things we've been hoping and dreaming and planning? Well, I meant it all. But now you will say a few simple words and it's like walking across a threshold. For after your vows, things will be different. Because after that you will say, this is my husband, this is my wife. What you promise today will be renewed tomorrow and with every tomorrow after that. So having considered all of these things, Andrew, do you promise to do your best each day to create a loving, healthy, and happy marriage? If so, please say, I do. I do. <laughs> and Sarah, do you promise to do your best each day to create a loving, healthy, and happy marriage? If so, please say, I do. I do. I, Andrew, take you, Sarah, to be my wife. And I promise to love and sustain you in the bonds of marriage, in the bonds of marriage from, this day from this day forward, and in sickness and in, sickness and in health, and in, plenty and in plenty and in want, and in joy and in sorrow, till death shall part us, according to God's holy word. These are the hands of your best friend. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build a future. And these are the hands that when they're wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours. With this friend I marry you, join my life with yours. While I can now declare you husband and wife, no one but you can declare yourselves married. You have begun it here today in speaking your vows and you will do it again in the days and years to come, standing by each other as you share the highs and lows of life. May you have many long years to enjoy each other and to love and be loved by the friends and family who surround you here today. It is my honor to present to you 
Andrew and Sarah, husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. great neighbors and having those beautiful children so we can laugh and talk with them. It's been 64 years for us <laughs> and uh, a few more I hope. Yeah, we hope so we with have, your help. <laughs> we have four wonderful daughters, they're all here and we're really enjoying this whole wedding. The wedding is beautiful. Beautifully done. Both of you. Bye-bye. Yeah.